Hi guys. Um, so I wanted to go over a few things with you on this Wednesday. I do hope that you had a very nice um, spring break. Um, so happy fourth quarter. Um, but I did want to go over a few things with you guys. So A equals one. This is what we talked about right before your spring break. Um, this is what you guys had your graded assignment on, but I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, so this is factoring A equals one, where the number out in front here is really a one. Okay, so what we're looking for here is um, two numbers that multiply to get our last number and add to get our first number here. So if we think about this, if we make our list for 40, we have 1 in 40, 2 in 20, 3 doesn't go in, 4 in 10, 5 in 8, 6 doesn't go into 40, 7 doesn't go into 40, and I already have my 8 here. So from this list, I'm looking for something that adds up to 14, that middle number. So I get 4 and 10. So all we do here is we have a P plus 4 then, and then a P plus 10. Okay, same thing for the next one here. I need two numbers that multiply to get 14, add to get a negative 9. Don't forget that negative part. Um, so again, if I go and make my list for 14, I have 1 and 14. 2 and 7, okay, 3, 4, 5, or 6 does not go into 14, so that's my list. Now, it needs to multiply to get a positive 14. So what that means is that both numbers could be positive or both numbers could be negative. Okay, so if we look here, it needs to be adding up to a negative 9. So we need a negative 2 and a negative 7 to add up to negative 9. So my answer there would be B minus 2. and then minus seven okay and then our last one here same thing multiply to get a negative 15 here and adding to get a positive two so i do my 15 i have one and 15 two doesn't go in three and five okay four doesn't go in either now it needs to be a negative 15 so that means that either that means one of them has to be negative so it either needs to be a negative one and a positive 15 or a positive 1, a negative 15, or a negative 3, positive 5, or a positive 3, negative 5. And this is where we need to be very, very careful with our negatives. So I need it to add up to a negative 2. Okay, in order to get a negative 2 here, I need a 3 and a negative 5. So making that, that would be a P plus 3, and then a P minus 5. And again, reminder, guys, oops, that did not work out. Um, you can have them flip-flopped, okay? You could have the P minus 5 written first and then the P plus 3. Or right? like for the second one here, you could have had a, P minus, or a B minus 7 and then a B minus 2. Same thing for the first one, a P plus 10 or a P plus 4 doesn't really matter, okay? So what you guys are working on now is the factoring A equals 1 circuit training worksheet, okay? You need to factor the first problem in box number 1, find one of the factors in another box okay when you find it make sure you call it box number two and then continue with that same process until all the boxes are filled there is 20 of them that is your homework guys um it is due by wednesday at midnight if you have any questions please let me know have a good day guys bye